what's up guys hold on no i don't really all right 10 seconds wasted but what's up guys it's, it's sunday the day of halloween the 31st so once it's night time people are going to be trick-or-treating so happy halloween i guess and um yeah, so let's get uh, some stuff. Intro. This is a western pencil zoo that I just caught a few months ago. And this video is a care guide for a mini care guide actually for western pencil zoos. Because a full care guide takes at least 12 to 10 minutes. And I don't have that time. I don't. And so I'm going to be doing a care guide on the Western Pencil Lizard. Yes, this guy dropped his tail. So, um, and with the drop tail thing, before, and uh, yeah, since this guy dropped his tail, I think that's what I should start with is handling, but I'm going to get into that after setup and tank so yeah basically the setup and the tank you'd want to be at least this was just this small you want it to be at least quadruple he just jumped off my hand oh my god come back <laughs> don't run oh my god i love the way these guys jump by the way anyway so basically quadruple the size of the size quadruple the size of that lizard should be the tank and that's exactly the size of this guy's tank quadruple the size so he's basically just living in a sterilite tub blue sterilite tub not clear but uh yeah so this guy's been with me for two months He's been happy, and yeah. So yeah, that's basically tank. Now for handling and how to feed them. So handling, you never want to hold them by their tail. And that is not why this guy has no tail. But they will drop it that way. But this guy dropped his tail because he wanted to be a crested gecko. So if you've done some research about crested geckos, you know they drop their tail. For no reason, by the way. And, uh, yeah. So what this guy did was, in the middle of the night, he decided to drop his tail. Because when I woke up this morning, I checked on him. Before I picked him up, I was like, okay, hands in session. And you know what happened? I was like, yeah, um, I looked at his tail. It was gone. So, yeah, it's been kind of, um, weird having a lizard with no tail but luckily these guys would grow it regrow it at least i think most lizards regrow their tail crested geckos don't which is why they're called uh um which is why when they lose their tail they're called frog butts the tail is called the um, the place where the tail snapped off is called a frog butt and they usually just do their full tail not just half of it like this guy did you can see some of his tail right there but uh, yeah, now it's time for feeding. So what you'd want to feed your Western Fence Lizard is these guys. This is my banded cricket tank. You can tell I don't have that good of a setup, but that doesn't really matter, right? So yeah, banded crickets are a really good feeder. That's basically one of my best feeders ever. Another one you'd want to feed band, band, besides banded crickets are the beautiful and really, 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 really cool earthworm. Yeah. So these guys, for this guy, for his size, you wouldn't want to do a full night crawler. You would at least want to cut one in half. Oh my god, he almost fell again. And then, yeah, so basically, 
what you'd want to do is keep the night crawler small, not big. And if the night crawler is big, then he should at least be able to eat some of it, have some sticking out of his mouth. So don't feed them big night crawlers if they're at least the size of this guy. So that cleared up tank feeding handling. Now I'm gonna go to the most important part of the reptile in them. Heat. Reptiles are cold blooded and they need heat to survive. So a heat lamp would really, wait, oh God, I almost forgot. In feeding, by the way, you always want to use this. This is Reptocalcium. One of the best ever calciums for reptile, really. For reptiles, really. So, yeah. Zoomed made, um, really recommended. Not sponsored. Buy it, though. It's really good. Nothing fell just then. Anyway... So, yeah, um, I might have to make this video 10 minutes. Anyway, so, yeah, guys, this is basically, that is it for tank feeding and handling. Now, we can move on to heat. So, a heat lamp, UVB lamp. Those are two things. So, one of the best UVB lamps would be the ones, um, I mean, a heat lamp would be, uh, also Planet Reptiles. Um, thanks for having, letting me know this. That's where I got my care. But I'm saying some of the stuff, he, he keeps jumping. Oh my god. But I'm saying some of the stuff that I personally learned from him. And some of this stuff I got myself. Anyway, so yeah. The G9 halogen, halogen bulbs, uh, they're like really good for reptiles. I used it on my Crestic Gecko, on my turtle, box turtle. Um, uh, yeah, basically they're really good. But the Western Fence Lizards really, really love them because I have seen all Western Fence Lizard owners use those bulbs. And some of them didn't, and the lizard didn't survive. So, yeah. Use the D9 halogen bulbs if you get the chance. If you can't, use something at least second or third best to the G9 halogen bulbs. So, yeah. That's basically it for care. And now I'm just going to do something that I learned personally for the next two minutes. So, here is some of the stuff that I learned personally in each of those four uh, care uh, categories. So, first off in tank, never keep your western fence lizard in something that you know is going to be small for them. I used to keep my western fence lizard in this beat up little bow front tank. That's because I didn't really have much until I bought the Sterilite tub. The tub gave the Western pencils more room to run around, more room to explore, and that's why you need a big part for, for these lizards. And finally, in feeding and handling, I don't really have anything for, um... The last category, I forget, I, first, I, I fucking have Alzheimer's, I think. I forgot what that, the last category was. But anyway, so, yeah, for feeding and handling, I realized Western fence lizards, especially small ones like this guy, they actually know how to be handled properly. If you're not handling them properly, oh my god, he just mlemmed. I love, this is what a mlem is in lizards, you just go... They're telling it's so cute. Anyway, they know when they're being handled right. When they're being handled rough, they will run. I might have to add another minute to this video. Anyway, they will run. And that is why you never, ever handle rough. Always handle 
to the point where the lizard will be running, but it's playfully running, not speed running from danger. Hmm, we won't need another minute, only a few. So, yeah, that's basically it for the Western Fences or Care Guide. Um, also for feeding, keep your feeder insects um, in a spot where you know there's no other pests. Because I had an ant infestation a few weeks ago, and I had to clean all that up. Most of my crickets died, but since they're male and female, they bred. And yeah, I have more crickets. <laughs> super cool and yeah basically that's it you guys enjoy your day happy halloween and leave a like and if you can subscribe bye